Hey there, YouTube. Just uh, here prepping my pipe. A little Orlick Golden Flake. Golden sliced. It smells so good. And about to put up on YouTube the video from yesterday's revealing in a little bit here. And this is another good shot of. Joe Case Mad Hatter so far I've decided I'm going to smoke some Virginia's out of it and kind of hold off on any aromatics I'm really trying gonna try and find the right tobacco for the pipe but uh, thanks Joe Case it's awesome I'm really excited about it so again I'm prepping a little bit of that and today, for celebration of the new pipe, I'm going to be drinking, not Guinness people, unfortunately this is the only glass that I had that will work right, that's clean, um, I'm drinking a little La Fin du Monde, uh, also known as the end of the world beer, it's a triple golden ale. It has been aged in spices. Destiny definitely has a Lee smell to it. Um, it's really good. Definitely some carbonation there. Hop forward. Very well rounded. The carbonation gets you off the bat but it goes away real quick. It's not like a Coke that holds on to the back end and, and lasts all the way through. So, I'm going to do myself a favor here because I keep looking at the monitor. I'm gonna look at you instead and my video won't turn out so awkward. So, anyway, uh, just kind of a little hint to people who are getting out there just starting. I know I started not too long ago. Uh, it's little things like this that you just don't worry about. You kind of work through, go around, and you'll figure out yourself on how you're going to do your video and just be who you are. So, it's great. Uh, Joffrey, I know that you probably would enjoy this beer. You probably more of a big fan of darkers. I show you, show you drinking a lot of dark ales. Uh, not ales, but um, a lot of stouts. This is a good beer. I would definitely recommend it to you uh, for summertime. You'll probably really enjoy it. So, why the one inch bowl? Uh, again, I probably stated this yesterday, but it's a lot easier to put a flake in there not to have to get it as small as possible and rub it out all the way. Again, I'm just prepping here. Let me give you a quick view. It's kind of peeling and rubbing, going through that, making sure that it gets rubbed out a good bit and every piece gets a good chance to light. Joe, the pipe smokes wonderfully, man. I really enjoy it. And I know that uh, those of you out there who have already got yours on order, you're going to enjoy it too. It's, it's great. Joe, you are a, a, a master. It's excellent. I can't wait to get my next pipe from you. Just as a heads up, you're probably going to watch this. I'm really thinking about getting either a Dublin, which I didn't see on your site, uh, or the pot. I really like the pot that's out there. And I was thinking if you did the pot, if we could maybe go almost natural grain on it like this one, man. I really love looking at the grain. But that's up to you. We'll talk about it. Um, really excited about getting another one from you, Joe. You make a great pipe. 
means I gotta get some more from the rest of you out there. Sparkies, I know you got that. Giacomo Mora, I wanna order from you, but you're not on YouTube anymore. Um, at least for now, I guess. And a few other out there. Chris Morgan, you need to really save up for your pipes, but definitely need to get one from you. All right, about to uh, go ahead and pop the pipe here. It's really nice having a sitter being able to uh, kind of let the extra sit off to the side and then scoop them in. When you don't have a sitter pipe, you don't have the ability to do that. Got a little extra hanging out here. Let me take another sip of this and give you guys a little more information about it. It reminds me of a terrapin. If any of you have had the chance to have some of that. Terrapin ale. It's really good. And they've got one that they age with Tupelo honey. Honey that's really, really good. Good, huh? Yeah. I like it. Beautiful, beautiful pipe. A little more in there for you. Excellent. Some Uptown's matches. There's one down. There we go. Watch my time here. Do you see the pipe lights up really well? Big billowing smoke. Because the chamber's a little bigger than normal, again, as for the one inch chamber, it takes a little longer to light. But part of, part of being patient. I'm sure some of you out there saw my video about what are you smoking your Joe. This is the reason why. Got my first Joe case and kind of wanted to find out what you guys enjoyed in your Joe case pipe.
Alright. There we go. Showcase, Mad Hatter. Good beer, good pipe. Good friends. It's good to hang out with you guys. Hopefully everybody's Tuesday's going well. Had a good Monday. Airing out a little. Mississippi River. Mine was really, really damp when I got it. Moist. Whatever you want to call it. Alright. Well, YouTube, we'll see you soon. From here on out, keep smoking.